let us see about a special type of osteomyelitis which is osteoradio necrosis osteoradio necrosis is a term derived from the greek word osteon meaning bone necros meaning dead and osteos meaning condition According to Harris, osteoradio necrosis is exposed irradiated bone that has failed to heal over a period of 3 months in absence of local tumors. It may be chronic or progressive. Generally, osteonecrosis can be due to radiation, then it is called as osteoradionecrosis or due to bisphosphonate related osteonecrosis which can be osteochemonecrosis. The risk factors of ORA that is osteoradio necrosis includes the site can be the primary site that is which receives the radiation the T stage of malignancy is also a risk factor proximity of the tumor to the bone dentition dentate patients have higher risk of ORN then type of treatment whether it is external beam RT or brachytherapy then time of the radiation dose delivery fractionation decreases the risk of ORN mode of delivery location and volume of irradiated tissue then inadequate oral hygiene is also a risk factor then surgery which results in reduction of blood supply to the tissues is also a potential risk factor for ORN moving on to pathogenesis of ORN marks in 1983 has postulated 3h concept which is hypocellularity hypoxia and hypovascularity to summarize, following radiotherapy, hyperemia, inflammation and end arthritis occurs which eventually results in thrombosis, cellular death and progressive hypovascularity. The irradiated block becomes less cellular as a result, followed by hypovascularity and hypo hypoxic conditions. Generally, mandible is more prone for ORN than maxilla. This is because the mandible is supplied mainly by the inferior alveolar artery whereas maxilla is supplied by anterior mid posterior superior alveolar arteries and collateral blood vessels. Marx proposed three types of ORN, type 1, 2 and 3. Type 1 states that ORN is seen soon after radiotherapy. Then type 2, ORN that occurs many years after radiotherapy following a known traumatic episode. In type 3, ORN occurring between 6 months and 3 years post radiotherapy with no specific preceding traumatic episode. Clinical findings of ORN include pain, bad breath and foot lodgement in the affected area. On examination, the bone will be exposed, ulcerated and necro soft tissues are also evident. The treatment of osteoradio necrosis of the mandible is aimed at removal of the necrotic bone, enhancement of the vascularity of the remaining radiation damaged tissues. The main mode of treatment in ORN is hyperbaric oxygen therapy. According to Mark's protocol, the type of treatment can be staged as stage 1, 2 and 3. Stage 1 of treatment consists of a total of 30 hyperbaric oxygen exposures at 2.4 atmospheres absolute pressure that is ATA for 90 minutes in a multi-place chamber or 2.0 ATA for 120 minutes in a monoplace chamber is needed. Patients with improvement are labeled as stage 1 responders and stage 1 non-responders are treated by stage 2 protocol. Under stage 2, a transoral debridement sequestrimi which attempts at primary mucosal closure is done with postoperative healing an additional session of 10 hyperbaric oxygen exposure is given if stage 2 is not enough we move on to the stage 3 treatment which includes mandibular resection of the necrotic segment until the bone margins yield viable bone that is still bleeding is encountered in those with orocutaneous fistula the involved skin and the fistulous tract are excised followed by the closure then the stabilization of these segments is done with an external fixator then marks proposes that the reconstructive surgery should be done 10 weeks after resection thus enabling the graft to be placed. We'll see more about hyperbaric oxygen therapy in the future videos.